Okay, good afternoon, class seven, and welcome to the online class. It's your Oxford class learning to communicate. We are doing our main thematical chapter that is animals and under that main theme we have done interesting studies we did a story about a rabbit a dog we did the adventures of Tutu that was about a monkey and lastly we did a, a story about a tiger in two different parts. The tiger comes to the town part first and a tiger comes to the town part second. So we are basically talking about the issues related to animals. I want to recall you, I want to make you remember, I want to repeat the things that animals, whether they are not able to communicate like we human beings, they do have their feelings, they do have their own priorities, they want their life to be free from the human barriers, they never want themselves to be caged, they have their own habitats, they want to live a free life with their own habitats, wild animals, pet animals, all are expecting that they must not be caged, they must be free to live on their own. Nature has given them a life and we human beings have no right to intervene, to interfere in their lives. But unfortunately, they are compelled to be caged. We human beings forcibly cage them, trap them inside the zoo, inside the circus, to make fun of them, to earn money from them. For our vested interests, we captivate them and we restrict them, we restrict them from their own lives. We are actually the enemies for them in that sins. So these chapters under the main section, main theme animals is nothing but a message to us by the writers that animals have their own rights. They are not supposed to be caged, they are not supposed to be in the barriers by we human beings because of our vested interest, because of our fun, because of our money making issues. So this is a short poem, The Circus Elephants and in the last uh, story also there was uh, an issue about a circus tiger and you remember how it once uh, got a chance to escape out from the circus and 
it went into the town freely but the scene was very horrendous the scene was very horrifying for the human beings tiger said that he was actually confused he had a misconception about human beings that they are very cool and calm they just see and make fun of them by seeing the activities of the animals inside the circus but whenever it gets out to the locality of people to the locality of human beings they are very frightened of those animals now see the before the starting of the poem a line has been written that the we have just read about tiger working in a circus we also see elephants in the zoo let's find what circus elephants dream of here a uh, elephant is the representative of all the elephants all the animals who are in trapped for the fun making inside the circus for making money people trap the animals and train them to show different types of funny activities so that human beings can have fun they can see the activities of the animals but inside feeling of the animals and their interior feeling is not to do so they are actually compelled to do show so in this small poem by john forster the elephant that is tramping inside the circus that is showing different types of dances different types of activities what he actually dream of what is his longing is he interested in doing show or is he compelled to do that what is his message to we human beings see the see in the poem and see the book if you have the first stanza what are they thinking the circus elephants as they tramp round the ring each night there is a question for you what the elephant think you might have been to circus in circus there are different kinds of wild animals trapped they are trained by their ring master to so the activities people enter inside the circus by buying tickets in order to have fun seeing the activities of funny activities of wild animals and they enjoy because the animals are kept inside the barriers and human beings are out of the danger of that animals so is it willing intensely to do that is a question for you is a question for us that the elephant that is tramping that is moving with its happy way with its large huge body and dancing showing the activities ordered by the ring master is he interested is he doing is he really making fun to do that is he longing to do that it's a question for you for us by the poet what do you think are they interested do they really need money no exactly that is the compulsion 
that is the wrong deed that is full of vested interest of human beings to make the fun of such animals and by captivating such animals like tigers, elephants, monkeys and different other dogs they are actually not in a mood, not in a situation to do that but they are actually compelled to so that is wrong idea of we human beings they do they have their own lives they want to live in their own habitat they want to move and feed themselves inside the jungle but they are compelled to stay in the circus next do they wish that they were far away in the forest's leafy life? Do they wish that they are do they wish that they were far away in the forest's leafy life? Exactly. Again, there is a question for us. Do they really want to be in the circus? Do they really want to be inside the zoo? Is there longing to make fun of themselves in order to make you laugh, in order to make us laugh, in order to have us pleasure seeing the activities? Because if think that if you are imprisoned inside the jail and you are told by the jailer to dance and sing, is it good for you? Are you really happy doing that? So that is the case with the animals as well. They are actually jailed, they are actually imprisoned for no cause. The cause is that human beings are very, you know, they want to make money, they want to earn money from that activities by selling the tickets. They have their own vested interest to make fun of animals inside the circus. So elephants, the representative of all the animals, it's a poem that is talking about that is their will that elephants want to be inside the zoo, inside the circus and make fun of themselves, make us laugh. Is their longing, their will? No, exactly not. They want to be inside their own habitat of jungle. Next, where they would roam at will and would eat their fill far from the human side. Exactly the jungle where is the main home, the main habitat of animals, elephants, all the wild animals that are captivated, that are entangled in the human need. Are they happy? Are they doing the activities and do not they have the ideas to be free they were roaming but the day when it was captivated and brought into the jail like zoo and circus are they really happy to do that no exactly not they are dreaming of all the time they dream of to be free where they were once, they roamed all around the jungles, they could feel their bellies, they could eat whatever they wanted, they can feed themselves by looking themselves different kinds of foods, different kinds of grasses, whatever they wanted. But unfortunately, the elephants which are 
kept entangled inside the zoo are the bad days for the elephants. They always dream of becoming free to roam in the jungle. So that is the situation the poet is telling us. They always want to be the they always want to be far from the side of we human beings. They do not want to be with us. They do have their own world. So it is our fault. It is our wrong deeds that we capture them, we catch them with our powers and put them inside the jail like zoo and circus. For what? For our own vested interest to make money of that activities to make fun of them. As the gentle giants perform their tricks, the children stare with delight. It is another thing their gentle giants, gentle giants. The term has been used for elephant. Exactly, the giant like body, the huge, enormous bodies of elephant are giant like, but it's a very cool and calm animal, and intentionally, it never wants to harm human beings. But see the bad deeds of we human beings that. That giant like animals are also captivated and put inside the circus. And we human beings, our children, who stare at them, look at them with a very happy mood, with a delightful mood, seeing the deeds, seeing the dance, seeing the tramping, seeing the trumpets of the elephants inside the zoo but actually they are not happy from the inside who elephants animals they are actually compelled to do that it is another thing that people make fun children are happy but they are not making the right decision to see the elephants inside the zoo they are actually unhappy from inside animals. They want to be free. But it is, but is it fair? Should they be there? Is keeping them captive right? Now, last three lines, the final stanza of the short poem is Again, the question, a big question to us. Is it right? Is it right to captivate the tongueless animals to be caged, to be inside the jail like zoo, inside the jail like circus? What are their faults? They are animals. They can't speak like human beings. They can't resist for their rights. Many of the countries and many of the places in the world talk about the animal rights as well. But see the unfortunate situation that we human beings are not doing justice with them. For our own interest, we are captivating them we are entangling them for our own benefits. So is that right? It's a question to us. It's a question to all the human beings by the writer, by the animals. Is it right to do that? Is it good to make fun of those tongueless animals? Not exactly. It's a wrong deed. So the short poem ends with lots of questions to we human beings that 
whatever we do for our vested interest is the is against the right of animals so it's a message by the john forster to leave the animals on their own they, they, they have their own world they have their own habitat let them live on their own this is all about the sword poem and there are three four questions on the basis of your short poem i hope you will do the questions and read the poem again and try to grasp it and try to do the questions that follow this is all about the poem and this is all for today thank you